Hello everyone. So I'm out for another trundle around London, seeing what I can find to show you. The first thing that I can show you is this brand new stadium behind me. It belongs to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club as we call it in the UK, or soccer to you guys in America. Um, yeah, brand new stadium. You can see there's cranes still up there. They haven't played a match in it yet. There's no pitch inside there yet either. It's a fantastic building there. Absolutely enormous. I'm quite some distance from it at the moment, but uh, I wouldn't be able to fit it all in otherwise. Let's go and have another look around London, shall we? I'm not in the centre of London today. I'm uh, sort of North London, I think. So we're going to have a trundle around North London and see what we can see. Catch up with you in a minute. funny I just came down this little side road to get a better look at the stadium just about to see it in the background there it's built in the middle of what it's really just a giant housing estate I'll probably put something on Google just to show you they built it on the footprint of the old stadium and um, but what's funny is I just got the drone out to have a fly and it's in a no-fly zone now, I don't know what that's about I don't know why that would be in a no-fly zone unless they've created the no-fly zone just because of the stadium. Don't know. Oh, it's a cold day. I bike a little bit, get a bit of a sweat on, and have to take my gloves and hat off, and undo my jacket. And then of course I stop to take some pictures and I get really cold. <laughs> oh yeah. So anybody who knows anything about London, I'm in Tottenham at the moment. And I'm heading to Wood Green. There's something I want to go and see over there. But it means a little bit of road biking first. Sorry, not road biking, road cycling. I'm not on a bike. Force a habit, that is. Always saying biking, I'm on a bike. And you'd think I'd be getting used to trike by now. Or like I say, just cycling. Oh, that's a nice house. I wonder what that is. Let's see if we can find out. There you go. So now you know as much about Bruce Castle as I do. Didn't know that one was here. It's a bit much calling what was a manor house a castle though, isn't it? It's pushing things a bit. 16th century. There we go. So I'm just coming up on Wood Green Shopping Centre. There's a major junction here. I'm more nervous of this than I was cycling any of those roads in Casablanca. London drivers, who 
Oh well, we'll see. I might have to put the camera away, keep it going as long as I can. camera running for long on that. Whoa, horrible. Oh, hat's off again. Just came up the hill. Which of course you can't see behind me. They never show on the camera. I've got an even bigger one to come. Right, well that's a shame. Um, I'm going to have to pick up on this ride another time. Um, I'm just riding along and the front end around the gearbox is starting to creak and so I looked down and I noticed I'll just bike a little bit and show you hopefully you can see that but uh, it's flexing see the way that cable's moving I've got pressure on it Not happy with that. So rather than push my luck and maybe do it damage the gearbox, I'm gonna go home and have a look at that. That's a shame. That's really flexing. Will it make it? It was creaking quite nastily a minute ago as I was coming up that hill as well, so um, yeah, didn't sound good at all. It's a shame, but um, yeah, we can do this ride again another day. But I need to go and check out this gearbox. Oh well. Well, I haven't had a closer look at it. I'm hoping it's just one of the axle bolts needs tightening up a bit more. But um, hmm, I don't want to push my luck with it and go go any further. Really, I've chosen a route home that hasn't got any large hills on it. So, uh, yeah, we'll get home nice and fast and see what the problem with that is. Hmm. There, started creaking again. Hopefully you heard that. It's quite loud. You can probably still hear it now, but... Yeah, I'm not happy. Okay, see you in a bit. So many more dangers in residential streets. Car doors getting opened on you and cars pulling in and out of little side roads and things. Not that any of that's happened to me today, but you have to be so much more switched on. I remember on days like this why I like the countryside so much. And there's glass as well. Four's <gasps> glass. <sighs> so, in the hope to salvage something from this ride, I've just stopped at uh, one of my favourite places. At the uh, Walthamstow Reservoirs and uh, I'm going to make myself a coffee even though I'm nearly home just because I can oh it's lovely, look at that over there it's probably too much sunshine, I don't know oh look at that, there's a trike, well I never did right, let's get this coffee made that to boil for a minute. Look what I brought. A proper mug. I'm not burning my bottom lip anymore. 
Thanks for the suggestion of the cooks up, by the way. Um, sorry, I can't remember which subscriber it was at the moment. I'll write it on the screen. But thank you for the suggestion. Anyhow, I am definitely going to look into getting a cook set. They're fantastic, aren't they? I don't think I'm skilled enough to make my own, but uh, yeah. I love subscriber suggestions. Brilliant. That didn't take long, did it? Well, you don't know, I wasn't recording. So I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee, as you do, and thinking about the gearbox problem. And first thoughts, of course, are it might not be a problem at all. Maybe it's made to flex a little bit. I don't know, but I don't like the creaky sound. Second thoughts are, I've got some video footage now of it moving. I'll send that to the guys at uh, FNEO and ask them if they think that's normal. Um, get their advice. No harm in that. And third, like I said, I'm going to check the, uh, the tightness of the axle bolts to start. I've done a few miles since I fitted it. I don't know whether it'll be settling in. I don't know. But more on that in the next video, like I say, because if I'm going to email them, I don't know when they'll email me back. Hopefully they're working between now and New Year. Right then, so I guess that's about it for this one. I'll uh, get back with you in the next day or so with the uh, update on the gearbox. We'll see where we go from there. All the best then, guys. Happy New Year to everybody and all my subscribers. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers then. Ta-da.